We're coming up on the NFL season. And when we do that, we still want to make, you know, some predictions. That's a lot of the fun of it. And I want to just start off with our MVP picks. We'll go, you know, right off the bat with one of the biggest ones. And, you know, Colin, I'll send it to you. What are your MVP picks for this season? Mike, there's one man in sports that I will never, ever, ever bet against. And his name is Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. I Uh, I fully believe he has a chance to win MVP this year and bring home Lombardi number eight. But to stay on that MVP MVP point, I'll tell you why I think that, because obviously it's easy to just say that the greatest quarterback to ever play could win MVP. But if I'm looking at the numbers, last year the guy has 40 touchdowns almost 66% completion rate in his first year with Bruce Arians. Now for a player of his caliber, you know, we come to expect the greatness year in, year out. But after 2019, the last year in in the new England days, there was that drop off. The completion percentage was a little bit lower. The touchdown numbers weren't what they once were. Everyone kind of collectively said, maybe this is age finally starting to take hold of, of Brady. Father time has finally come to take his next victim. But then, you know, 2020, great year with Bruce Arians, first year. And thinking of Arians' scheme, it's much different than how Belichick would do things and how McDaniels would do things in New England. Arians has that saying, no risk it, no biscuit. He's going to throw the ball down the field. He has receivers to throw it to now. Mike Evans, Scotty Miller, a name that goes under the radar. People forget that big moment in the NFC Championship against Green Bay. It was Scotty Miller who made a big play before the end of the first half there. Brady has so many weapons around him. And with basically all of the roster from the Super Bowl coming back this year, he's going to have it for all of this season. Second year in Tampa Bay with Arians. He's feeling more comfortable. From a mental side of things, one could argue he feels better now than he has in any point he has during his, than he had in his whole career in New England, because he finally has a coach that trusts him to make the right calls, even when there's some head scratching moments like last year in Chicago. I mean, Arians trusts Brady, and that's going to translate to better play on the field and great play on the field. Yes, he's in his 40s. Yes, there's other guys like Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen that could just as well win MVP. But in my mind, with all of these factors and all the targets he's going to have, Brady should be able to take home MVP this year, and he's my pick to do so. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting, that's bold take Colin. I got to give you that. It's bold. I mean, I think other people may have prayed for that. I think that's a little, I mean, look up, up until Brady, you know, moved over to the bucks. He was one of my most hated NFL players, obviously jets, Patriots, all that. And then he goes to the bucks and I actually low key started rooting for him. Cause I was like, you know what? It'd be great. It really annoyed bill to see Brady do well. So actually I didn't really mind him playing well. I, I'm over that now. He had his, he had his one run. Look, as much as I don't like Brady, you know, I can I'll always agree that he is the GOAT. He's the best quarterback of all time. That None of that's uh, that's all undeniable. That being said, I mean, look, you read the stats of Brady, and they were nice. Good stats, solid stats. He had a great good run in the playoffs. That being said, with the eye test, I think a lot of times with the eye, the MVP comes down to the eye test. You know, uh, you think about previous MVPs like Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, you know, even going like way back like Adrian Peterson. Like a lot of times these guys have their signature play in the regular season, a play that like dazzles, impresses, a, a signature throw, a moment. And Brady is just, you know, you watched him last season. I know he wasn't the MVP last season, so I can't say like he once he, you know, I, I can't say that he won the award last year and didn't play that great. But my point is, I don't really see him having his play last year was good statistically, but I don't see him having a huge jump in play this year where it's going to be like, he's the MVP. And I just, Brady is not the type of guy at this stage in his career, who's going to have those dazzling, amazing plays that go along with the stats that help put the MVP voters over the top and really say, you know what, this is the guy we're going to vote for. I just don't see Brady at this stage of his career dazzling and lighting it up and showing that he's the MVP he has in the past in his career. He's a previous winner. He's done that before. I get it. I just don't see that happening this year. But for me, uh, when I'm talking MVP and this pains me to say too, I, I have no joy in saying what I'm about to say. Nick DeLuca will be thrilled. I'm picking Josh Allen uh, to be the MVP this year. I frankly thought 
He should have been the MVP last year. I know it went to Aaron Rodgers, and that's all good and well, very deserving. Uh, but what Josh Allen was able to do last year between, you know, throwing the ball down the field, his connection with Stefan Diggs, still being versatile on the ground, you know, running all over the place. He's gro- He's the player that has developed from such a raw form. It's been very impressive to watch. It's also been painful to watch as a Jet fan, knowing this guy is going to be in the division for the next, you know, decade plus. That being said, I can't deny the talent. I can't deny the player that's there. I think Buffalo is a very good team. We'll get into the teams to beat in a sec. Um, but seeing how Josh Allen played last year, I only see him going up from that point forward. And for that reason, to me, I think he's going to be MVP. Yeah, I like the Josh Allen pick. I mean, for the Brady pick, in my opinion, I think there was a lot of highs and lows in his season last year, and his lows are really low. I mean, you talk about the shutout against the Saints. I mean, he really looked, that whole offense looked lost that night. And they did get together playoffs and made a remarkable run, but father times are eventually going to come after Brady. And I'm not saying he's going to have a bad year, but an MVP caliber year is a lot to say. I mean, I'm taking Mahomes over him, MVP, just like comparing the two players. Mahomes is only going to get better, and Brady – I mean, he's not going to be 49 and throwing 4,500 yards in the season. So eventually he's not going to be that MVP player, but I still expect a good year out of Brady. But to make my MVP pick, I'm going with Matthew Stafford. I'm going to out West. I'm going to LA. And I really think that's a really nice pick because he's out of Detroit. He's into LA. He gets a huge wide receiver upgrade from Marvin Jones and Danny Amendola to Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. I mean, Marvin Jones was pretty good for them, but Robert Jones and Cooper Cup are much better receivers for him. And I think he's played great in Detroit his entire career. Eight years, a 4,000 plus yard season. So that's a lot you like to like out of Stafford. I think he's always been good his entire career. We see that on Thanksgiving, but he's finally going to be in a situation where he can make that playoff run. I think that's going to help his case even more. And that's why I'm going with him as my my MVP 